the legend of George Edward Waddell certainly hasn't died. The man affectionately known as Rube wasn't just a great baseball player, but one of the most eccentric pitchers of all time. The legend began in the Pennsylvania countryside, where Rube strengthened his arm as a child by throwing rocks at birds on his family's land. That arm helped him become one of the most dominant strikeout pitchers in America. In his 13-year baseball career, he played for nine teams, from the Pittsburgh Pirates to the Philadelphia Athletics. While with the Athletics, he threw a then major league record 349 strikeouts in a season, a record that stood for 60 years and still stands today among left-handed pitchers. His most notable pitching accomplishment was pitching in two games of a doubleheader. In the second game, Waddell faced legendary pitcher Cy Young, outdueling him for 20 straight innings to a 4-2 win. Waddell was so good, he would sometimes tell his teammates to stay in the dugout or sit behind the mound just to watch him strike out the side. While he was a force on the mound, it was his antics on the field that created bigger headlines and brought the crowds. One time after an argument with an umpire, he left the stadium in the middle of the game to go fishing. He was often distracted on the mound as well. Shiny objects and puppies in the stands became irresistible. He loved to drink and spent his first signing bonus of $500 to go on a drinking binge, earning him the nickname, the Sauce Paul. And his lifelong fascination with fire trucks would cause him to run off the mound to chase after them if one drove by the stadium with its alarms blaring. His eccentric behavior led to troubles with his managers and teammates. But off the field, his legend only grew. From wrestling alligators in the circus to fighting a lion in a cage, Waddell's life never had a dull moment. He saved an entire town in Kentucky from getting flooded. He's said to have blown up a bean factory in Boston because of a foul ball. And he was suspended five games for fighting a fan in the stands. He tried his hand at acting attempted to play professional football. That career began and ended in his first scrimmage as he broke his leg tackling the quarterback. Waddell's Major League Baseball career ended in 1910. Three years later, he was diagnosed with tuberculosis. He moved to San Antonio to live with his sister, but his health never got better. He was placed in a sanitarium in nearby Elmendorf and died on April 1, 1914. 32 years later, he was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame for his lasting contributions to the game as the greatest drawing card in the early 20th century. Waddell's final resting place is here at Mission Park South Cemetery. His monument displays a baseball carved from solid granite and bears his full name, a tribute generously provided by his longtime manager and friend, Connie Mack. Rube Waddell is a man whose legend has never died and forever remembered at Mission Park. At Mission Park and Mission Park Cares, we'd like to bring you more programming each and every week. Yes, just subscribe here or catch us every Sunday morning on Fox 29. And remember, at Mission Park, it's our mission to care.